Right, we are back and this one is going to be epic. I absolutely love it. So, for those who have been following my recent kind of exploration into the baby lotion side of things with resin, sounds a little bit naughty. <laughs> so this is a merge between hashtag 190, where we made this absolutely incredible piece. I'm calling this the press and wipe. So we've got the swipe and wipe, I'm calling this the press and wipe. And you know why. So this is a merge between hashtag 190 and hashtag 188 where I made these kind of scenic pieces with nail powders. This is absolutely incredible. We are going to make a tree. And again, this can be done with UV resin or epoxy. I will be using UV resin because it's quick. Now, you may have to do a couple of attempts, a couple of, uh, couple of attempts to get this right, but I've got my baby lotion inside my needle tip bottle. And all I'm going to do is just apply some dabs on the top half of the heart. Sorry, my focus is going like so. And then, same as that, previous video I'm just popping in a resin heart from that cavity that I've already made and just giving it a gentle push down and then we pull that out in the same way and we are left with some awesome branches now all we need to do now is create a tree trunk and we do that again with the needle tip bottle you can do it as messy as you want just like so and then just do some squiggly roots coming off. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just drawing really easy. Just drawing some roots. And you can already see that tree taking form like so. And any bits you're not happy with, of course we can just wipe them out We'll just make them a bit pointier. It's entirely up to you. So all we are left to do with is fill it up with our resin and cure it. And again, try not to pour onto the design. Once you get to this kind of height, you're, you're pretty safe. And again, just give that two minutes on both sides. Okay, once that has cured, we've got our gold and we have got our blue. So same as that landscape video we just take a dab of our blue and we're just going to create a skyline just swipe the blue across the piece again doesn't have to be perfect and then just the same with the gold just going around the blue doesn't matter if you touch the blue and just create a really cool blue and gold skyline and again, just a dash of black mica powder in a small amount of resin to top up. Obviously, if you're doing this with epoxy, you're going to have to wait. So if you are doing it again with epoxy, try and do the dusting of the powder uh, when the resin is still a little bit tacky. Not too tacky because you don't want to damage the resin. And just mix that up. As always, massive shout out to my channel members, anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks. And to any new subs, we are on our way to 70k. Don't forget, hit that button, it is free. And then just cover the back. As always, when you're spreading this around, use a silicon tip tool so you're not scratching the powders that we've placed because it will show through. So just carefully spread that out to the edge. Keep an eye out for any gaps also. That's the thing with using the lotion in the moulds. <laughs> it puts the lotion in the bucket. <laughs> I can't get it out of my head. Is that it can create gaps around the piece. And you don't want that black to run down into any gaps. And I know I'm flying through this video. If there's any questions, stick them in the comments and I will get back to you. And again, just give that another couple of minutes under our lamp. Now I have only literally just discovered this and, and how to get the effect. 
but what happened before when I pulled out the heart is I actually had another tree that I could just pour my resin into straight away and create a second piece. Look, I mean, you could just sort like trunk out again, maybe, and I don't know, it's up to you. But I am again gonna just give that a water cure just in case there's any stickiness or oxygen inhibition on the piece. Just a minute on both sides, just flip it over in the water. And then we just clean it up. Now, the question is, I'll show you in two seconds. I'm not sure. I might try it just to show you both ways of doing it. But there it is. This is as it is. And the, the question I'm asking is, do I colour in the tree? Do I, do I go in with some black and just carefully just spend some time applying it and then using a small needle whoops I dropped it to work it into the trunk and into the I don't know I really like it as it is but I think I need to show you it just in case it does look really really good with that black so I've mixed up some a little bit more from the black that I use for the backing I'm just going to apply it into the wider areas just carefully and then use that needle to just manipulate the resin through all of the gaps it's going to take a little bit of time I mean you could do this with acrylic paint and then just top coat it glaze it if you wanted to It'd be a bit quicker also if you're doing it this way you want to cure as you go so kind of work on an area cure it move on yeah don't do that I really don't like the way that's finished now. Um, here's some others that I made though. I definitely prefer it like this. There's one. This was the same colours that I used in my last video. And it lights up like a yellow. Absolutely incredible. And there was this one. Definitely, definitely, definitely keep it clear. Don't fill it in. As always, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button for me. Hope you enjoyed that one. Really quick and easy. Really packs a punch as well, and that sky in the background. It's like a safari tree with a fiery sky. Right, see you for the next one. Bye for now.